and Life Matters, where we celebrate women's wisdom and wit. I'm George Ann Lucier, your host, and I am delighted to introduce today's guest, Randy Redmond Oster. Randy is an electrical engineer who is on a quest to improve healthcare systems. Welcome, Randy. Oh, thank you so much for having me today. I am delighted, and I think we're all going to really learn a lot through the journey you've taken mm-hmm. and the plans that you have looking into the future. And I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Dr. Mary Jane Williams, a renowned educator, advocate, and leader within the nursing community, and she has over 40 years of healthcare experience. Welcome, Mary Jane. Thank you. It's great to be here. Wonderful. Let's start with, and I am delighted to introduce today's guest, Paulette Fox. Paulette is the Executive Director of Opportunities Industrialization Center of New Britain, and she has steered youth and families to brighter futures for 30 years. Welcome, Paulette. Thank you. And I am delighted to introduce today's guest, Dr. Beverly Kidder. Dr. Kidder is responsible for caregiving programs at the Agency on Aging of South Central Connecticut. Welcome, Dr. Kidder. Thank you so much. And I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Constant Castillo. Constant made a major career change midlife and is now the airport manager in Meriden. So welcome, Constance. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. Welcome to Midlife Matters, where we celebrate women's wisdom and wit. I'm George Ann Lucier, your host, and I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Melissa Sheffy. Melissa urges young people to seriously consider making a career in the construction industry. So welcome, Melissa. Thank you. And I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Dawn McDaniel. Dawn works to increase people's awareness of the value that veterans contribute to the workplace. Welcome, Dawn. Hi, thank you for having me. Next, and I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Deborah Moore. Deborah's first job was as an officer on an oil tanker, and for the past 16 years, she's been the executive director of the Wadsworth Mansion. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you for having me, Georgia. Absolutely. Next, and I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Paula Pantanella, who started her singing career at age 60. Welcome, Paula. Thank you, thank you very much. Welcome to Midlife Matters, where we celebrate women's wisdom and wit. I'm George Ann Lucier, your host, and I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Susan Heizanga, the Executive Director of WPAA-TV. Welcome, Susan. Well, thank you so much, George Ann, for having me here in my very own studio. Yeah. And you've been WPAA-TV's uncompensated Executive Director for about two plus years. And what do you see as the purpose of community TV and um, how WPA TV is able to fulfill that purpose? Community TV is a 30 year old experiment. You always have new users, new people learning what community TV is. It's a hard concept for people to understand. The values are predominantly free speech and mm-hmm. giving a platform for citizens to talk about what they're passionate about, whether it's ideas, arts, just informing people from your point of view. The idea was to get a dialogue going, to have responsive community television made. So someone might have a strong opinion on a topic, and another person might respond with a TV show on the same topic, but the totally different opinion. That hasn't ever actually transpired. And the mission of community TV really unfolds in terms of its programming. Right, we've got a variety of programming. Whatever walks in the door is what your community TV station does. Some people may know that there's a tiger on our wall. They may have heard about our blue penguin, but Powerful Wild and Free is a new iteration of what is free speech here in Wallingford. The power of ideas and images, the idea that you can be wild Uh, You can take it to the wildest limits of your imagination. That's because we're kind of stressing performance arts here as well. And free, of course, is free speech and free to use the resources that are here. What does WPA TV have planned for Celebrate Wallingford Day? There will be um, all kinds of events. Artists are going to be gathered here. And Arcee will be, he will do a performance painting 
event on Saturday. Mm. So it should be really exciting. That extra 100 steps to walk down South Orchard Street should be the most engaging 100 steps that uh, the community has taken in some time. And also people can tape holiday messages. It's been happening, I believe, since 2005. And it was a lot easier when we were located on Center Street. And a holiday message is basically welcoming anyone who's interested to come into the studio, stand before the green screen, have any holiday image of their choice that we have several moving images. People tend to like the Halloween ones with the, the cemeteries and the bats and that kind of thing. But we have every holiday represented. Some moving images, some cute images, some absolutely fabulous ornaments and trees for Christmas. And the holiday images are behind you, projected on this green screen, because with green screen, we could put you anywhere. It's the magic of TV. And you can do a shout out to your family. Uh, you can do a skit. Uh, you can do whatever you would like. And it usually takes just a few minutes. And we'll provide your little video to you for, uh, for social media. So if you just shout out to grandma, and grandma doesn't live in Wallingford, you can share it on social media. You just need to leave your email address with us. And there's some props, too, right? The people like hats they, and things. Yes, and, yes. Yeah. Uh, little Ryan Shortell last year came in, and he was just as a Jedi, I believe. And he um, did a tiny little skit, but he was, you know, got really energized and had a sword, and he slayed the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I can't remember its name, but he was very Star Wars oriented. He found a Star Wars prop, and he was in his element. Sometimes all that's all it takes. That's right? all it takes. Thank you.